ducking, diving and surviving for now. Theresa May at last tasted victory. The eyes to the right, 412. The nose to the left, 202. And so by a whopping it, margin, as MPs unlocked. voted to extend Article Order. 50. But there was a sting. Delaying Brexit was once unthinkable to the Prime Minister and was today rejected by more than half of her MPs. A number of cabinet ministers also declined to side with the Prime Minister in the free vote, including the Brexit Secretary, shortly after he spoke in favour of her motion. It is time for this House to act in the national interest. It is time to put forward an extension that is realistic. I commend the motion put forward by the government to the House. Theresa May did narrowly defeat an attempt to wrest control of Parliament, but at a price. MPs could be given a chance to consider other Brexit options if her deal is rejected in a third vote next week. Good day in the office today. A grizzled chief whip is eyeing victory next week. These indicative votes, that's quite a big moment, isn't it? Well, who's mentioning indicative votes? Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster. Well, indicative votes are avoiding the decision Britain needs to make, which is to deliver the result of the referendum and deliver on the government's deal. And you're really, obviously there's going to be another vote on the Prime Minister's deal next week. Do you think it's going your way? Do you think the DUP are moving? I look forward to having a successful week next week. One Whitehall hand described the Prime Minister's approach as her rope-a-dope strategy. Losing your way to victory in the style of Muhammad Ali's rumble in the jungle. But there's also the small matter of a government to run. Secretaries of State, Secretary of Peace and Harmony. Is still happening? Are we still losing our mark? Do we have happiness around the cabinet table? We always have happiness around the cabinet table. Supporters were relieved by today's wins. So a reprieve for the Prime Minister this evening, but it's time for my colleagues actually to wake up and smell the coffee and accept the reality of where we are now at. I'm somebody who uh, argued for Remain, who thinks that the best deal we have still is, is our current relationship with uh, the EU, but I respect the democratic vote. And I really think that colleagues have to accept now that a no deal, cliff edge Brexit is off the menu. Critics were unimpressed. And I think what is happening is that the Prime Minister is basically just bashing people into submission. We know that one MP said he felt as if he got a gun against his head um, last night. Uh, and there are others who just think, you know, that she just carries on and she carries on and she carries on. She doesn't listen and they will be in a position where they'll have no alternative to vote for her deal, even think they, they think it's bad for their constituents. How any of this could be positioned as a victory for the Prime Minister is unthinkable. I, you know, my constituents, still in this limbo, still in this uncertainty, will not see anything that's happening here in the House of Commons as any kind of victory. Uh, we are now in a position where we're having to ask for an extension of Article 50 because two and a half years, apparently, to try and negotiate a withdrawal agreement isn't long enough. I mean, what kind of situation are we in? I've always thought that when push comes to shove, the European Council will give us an extension because do they want to be to blame for a no-deal Brexit? I don't think they do, and therefore I think they will. But the responsibility on us is to now come together to see if we can find a way forward. Tory Brexiteers warn the Prime Minister she must deliver major changes to her deal to secure their support. The numbers are uh, so well, overwhelmingly against it at the moment. It lost by 230, as you know, the first time, 149 the last time. These are very big numbers. There has to be something very substantial for that to change in a sufficient way for that deal to get passed. So, that's, that's the challenge for the EU and the Prime Minister to get that done. But unless she asks them for it, of course they're not going to give it. A rare moment of relief for the Prime Minister, but battle will soon be resumed.